Hola amigos, uh, welcome to Alan's Mexican Restaurant. My name is Leo, I'm the manager here. Today we're making a special treat for my good friend Aaron. I think he's gonna love it or hate it, but probably love it. You know, he is the spicicist. Um, I've uh, taken some Hornito Silver uh, tequila. Uh, Hornitos, I think, is very applicable in this situation because it's a. Uh, we're kind of going on the theme of the Diablo burrito with horns, except uh, here we have a very special mixture, uh, magic elixir, so to speak, um, some Carolina Reapers. Now I've infused this for a few days now. Um, I think it's starting to get some beautiful coloring. So I'm going to make this uh, Carolina Reaper margarita, just a classic margarita with a little bit, you know, a little spicy twist, so to speak. All right, so we got some orange liqueur. So Patron, this is a, a little bit more of a premium orange liqueur. Give it that nice citrusiness to it. Uh, we're gonna get some agave nectar just to give it that sweetness to balance out the, the heat, of course. Some fresh squeezed lime, just equal parts there. For this, uh, for this bad boy, since uh, we got some Carolina Reapers in there, I think it's, uh, it's, pretty, it's pretty nuclear at this point. So just for, you know, for safety reasons, I think we're going to go equal parts of this death potion and equal parts of uh, regular silver hornitos. Now this is a 100% agave, so it's good quality tequila. This is a, this could be hot. <laughs> right. Now let's just shake it up until it's ice cold. All right, so to complement this uh, beautiful margarita, we have our homemade hibiscus salt. Uh, it gives it a nice uh, violet, purple, pink color. So the hibiscus is a, a edible flower that gives it almost like a citrus flavor to it. So it's almost like having lime in the salt. It goes great with the margarita, of course. Um, we make it here in-house. To complement the heat and the crisp hornitos, we have cucumber with a little bit of a chili powder and some grapefruit. The grapefruit will give it that nice acidity that complements the silver tequila and to counter those uh, citrusy notes of the Carolina Reaper. I don't know, I think I'm gonna have to make this the dedicated Reaperita shaker now because I don't think, I, I think everything that this touches is now gonna melt. <laughs> All right, here we go. Perfect. All right, so I got presented with this amazing Carolina Reaper margarita from Leo Jr. Again, huge thank you to Allen's Mexican Restaurant for making this happen. Embrace the pain, folks. Hit your throat. By doing half of the Reaper tequila and half of the regular tequila, I'm really getting all of the lime, I'm getting all of the great flavors that you get in a regular margarita that is just amped up in, in spice level. And that's really what you want here. Boy, that hibiscus sea salt really adds a wonderful touch as well. Let's take some of this, huh? Yeah, the chili powder on there is not real spicy at all. Just got a nice, wonderful flavor. All of that heat is right here in the drink. I think chili heads really would enjoy this. It's got that wonderful balance again of having that margarita, just a regular traditional margarita, just amping up the spice level. I'm getting a spice burns all around my mouth now. <laughs> So this Carolina Reaper Margarita is going to be a limited time item, so hopefully you'll have the chance to go and try this. So guys, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share, subscribe, and comment below. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, so follow me there. Huge shout out to Allen's Mexican Restaurant for making this happen. Link will be in the description. Go check out their website. That's all for this video, guys. Embrace that pain, and I'll see you in the next video.